There we are. That was good. That was did you, uh, did you get a hint of the inspiration behind that little opening jam? Or no, it might be inspired um, by Lee's watch. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, so, welcome back. Uh, PRS <laughs> are taking over the world, or at least taking over Anderton's music company's social media channels this weekend. Oh. Uh, whilst we show you um, uh, what's new uh, for this year from the, the guys at Paulie Smith, and we oh, touch base oh, with oh, the guys, oh. and, you know, I know they're doing things like factory tours and all kinds of virtual factory tours and stuff oh. like that. Paul and Paul and Paul and Paul and Paul. With Paul and Paul and Paul and Paul. Absolutely. <laughs> if you're not called Paul, you're just not invited. Um... <laughs> Yeah, this P-Pass. is the new uh, American uh, USA Corps special. Oh, yeah. um, and it is indeed very special. <laughs> so it's an HSH semi-hollow guitar, and we'll go into the sort of the spec and the blurb soon. But you may be wondering why we chose to make that first jam a little bit sort of, you know, Monsieur Mary. The super um, eagle-eyed of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, and that's because um, I guess what I see when I when I kind of see this guitar, it does remind me a little bit of the of the Super Eagle that that um, John was made or co-designed uh, when he started doing the uh, Dead and Company gigs. Um, Grateful death. In all fairness, death. it's it's uh, not an exact copy of that. You've you've got a, a standard kind of a PRS mahogany back here, whereas the, the Super Eagle had like a, an arched, almost like a violin style maple back to it. Uh, but we do have this beautiful um, arch maple top. It is semi hollow. And of course we've got the cool HSH um, pickups, which uh, is the same configuration that was on the Super Eagle, albeit slightly different wiring, more conventional wiring on here. Um, other features, you know, you've got your beautiful open gear PRS tuners. You've got your, um, Beautiful rosewood fretboard, pattern carve on the neck, which is, I think, mm. Pete and I are kind of, I know it's completely subjective, and some people will prefer the slightly wider, um, slimmer, slimmer, slimmer yeah. sort of carve yeah, that the PRS is... often do. But pattern is kind of our favourite. Perfect in the hand, isn't it? Um, it's just delicious. Pickups are the 5815 low turns. Seeing those on a few guitars now from uh, PRS. They have to um, turn them down here by the floor. They make them <laughs> under, near the floor. <laughs> and, a, and a narrow field pickup in the middle. So we'll go through the tones here. Uh, switches are your, your coil taps for the two humbuckers plus a five-way blade. Um, and the other thing that you'll be noticing is on Pete's, because Pete's is a 10 top. It is a 10 top. You get the hybrid hardware so it's the same hardware it's just got this mix of sort of brass and and the and the sort of steel the uh, screw, vibe. all the screws are, yep. are gold and the tuners are gold this is a this is the this is the purple eagle this is called purple, purple iris. iris so, so like the eye color. that's it, a new color for this year yeah that's a new color i mean that is I apps. I think this is. I mean, I would be biased. Ton, colors, <laughs> tons and tons of colors in the range. Look and at the that. The fact that I don't have the binding isn't because you don't get it on this model. It's just that this particular color is like a wrap yeah. color. Um, but this you can color get, is. Imagine all the different beautiful core colors that you can get from PRS, and you you can kind of get uh, oh, this guitar in those hey, colors. John Mayer, John, Mr. John, Mayer. If you're watching, now. if you're watching, if he was watching, my birthday do you know what he would say. <laughs> If John Mayer was watching, have we done this gag already in a different if video? If he was here. If he was here, he would say, please like and subscribe these guys because they're my favorite YouTubers yeah. on the planet. <laughs> and I would say it's my birthday in September again. It's my birthday again. Every September. <laughs> every, every so often it's my birthday. Purple Iris. Anyway. That's what you need. So Pete, come on. Uh, master of ceremonies. No. Okay. Well, I mean, I do, but they don't yeah. want to hear me. Do of course this. they, they do. They love you, man. No, they want to hear you. I'll just, I'll just say. So you got this two switches here, as you said as well. These are the um, switches from the pools. On the Super Eagle, of course, it was different. There was like, like a um, preamp. It was like a preamp well. on, and then it had like a boost in there that was so um, subtle. It was like one of those things that. You know when you is it working on yeah. that, that thing? But it was it, it was beautiful. Um, I remain playing that. That was one of the first PRS guitars I did a video on, and I took everything off. You know, I did my 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 watch off and my yeah. ring, and underwear, it was now everywhere, underwear everywhere. Was like you know, I could, natural. Oh. Um, anyway, <laughs> so they split each pick up here. And you can see that video. I know you can see that video. <laughs> on, if you look out here, there'll be a link for my OnlyFans page. Only <laughs> fans, fans only. only. Fans only page. Oh, man. I'll comment be... below if you'd like that because Pete will probably do it. I would do it. If you, if you want to see it and pay for it. I would probably do it. Um, the, the guy Matt Watson from Carwiles, he, he did say it. 
I've, you can watch that on my OnlyFans, and I've got one, a fans only post. Anyway, I believe him. Yeah, he looks like he would have one. So anyway, five-way blade, and you can split each pick up. Down is full of uh, fat hamburger. Tone, volume. <clears throat> Again, I'm still shook up from doing the, uh, the studio. The studio. Before. I'm going before. to ask you that question at the end of this video. If you could have one or t'other, which would you go for? Oh. But hey, stay tuned for the answer. <laughs> Here we go. So, jiggle. <laughs> Oh man, this is again straight in for you guys who just play with no pedal. Tears of joy. It's, it's delicious, man. It really is nice. Um, split. There's something again, we talk about the, the splitting of a humbucker. For some reason, the low turn pickups, when you split those, they are, to, in my ear, much better than a more high open. output. It's just more... It works better as a split pickup. Do you know, do you know what, as well? And we'll... Let's... You know, start that debate again. Are they split or are they tapped? If they're tapped, I wonder if that's because it's a low turn thing and you're tapping off a low turn humbucker. Does it sound more single coily? I mean, getting technical now. I'll have to ask Paul when I speak to him. Uh, uh, anyway. Next. I suppose. Does it really matter? Does it really does matter? It, sound it sounds good. great. Yeah. It's it too much science and rubbish in the comments, not in the comment section, but like on forums of just like, oh, yeah. well, it didn't do that. It's like, does if it really you, matter? If it sounds good, If you like it, good. if you yes. like it, what, what does everybody else's yes. opinion matter? Opinions are like belly buttons. <laughs> <laughs> somebody's out and somebody's in. And so. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else, but it's fine. Okay, okay. so anyway, so here is the uh, two pickups together. <laughs> And of course, oh, sorry, here's the, f with the full, that was the split. That's the full fat humbugger. Split the humbugger. You can't split this um, because it's more of a, it is a humbugger, but it's more of a P90 kind of tone. Um, so this on its own. Such a distinctive tone, man. Pick up. It's a great pickup. Yeah. Um, here is the two, the bridge and the middle. Oh, I was just going to look, That's see if there was a anything good on. Sound. And again, it's much more articulate. Like we, if you want to watch the studio video, go and watch up there, and I go on about it for hours. But... Let's try to, while we're in this position, let's split the back. Full fat hamburger. See, that's the... It's a bit, a bit weak. Yeah, just sort of... It, for some reason, it worked better on the non... On the, non, uh, on the, on the, on the on studio. On the studio, because that's mm. not a semi-hollow. It's definitely yeah, got that hollow that's, that's, kind that's of flavour, only, doesn't it? It's the only tone on there I'm not hugely... Like, the, the split pick up on the bridge. But I think uh, here we, so that's again that, that conversation about turning down the, the tone a bit, so. Put maybe more reverb maybe on. adding, <laughs> just put reverb all over it. Maybe put a little bit of gain. Maybe a compressor. Maybe a little bit 
Oh, okay, who knows? <laughs> Now, when yeah, I'm splitting it, now it's coming to so life. Just, you know? just compare that to, so with the gain on and stuff, yeah. just compare that split pickup to uh, the, the humbucker. See if it's. Okay, so this is now. And then full. Split it. Sorry. Take the compressor off. It's not that sounding that different. But. It is. It's I think it's different. A, I think it's a more usable tone with some extra oomph. From it, the need, pedal board. it needs a little bit. That's why you know. But you know, that's you... What, when you're buying an HSH guitar with you know, switches and stuff like that. You're buying it, I guess, because you want to go on that sort of tonal exploration of just like, you know, <laughs> expedition. <Be> careful. <laughs> um, with like, you know, what does it sound like here? And what does it sound like, you know, if you didn't yeah. want all that, you just buy a Telecaster or you just buy Les Paul Jr., wouldn't you? And then you just go, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, or an Esquire, whatever. Yeah. You know, but, um, so, but it's really, I mean, it really comes to life with a bit of, bit of um, this is the protein both sides on. <laughs> It's got that compressed it's thing, and then just sound. a thing. It's just more like just a less driven. You know, maybe a bit more sort of normal yeah. classic front end overdrive. But then it's a great sound. Neck pick. Full fat split. Two together. Next split. Holy moly, there's a lot of tones in here. <laughs> Never feel. That's a, that's a good sound as well, isn't it? That that narrow feel in the middle. If you put a. <laughs> That's the Dane and the blue oh, side man. of the protein. Oh, I'm getting into it again can now. Can we get this, a, this a picture like, yeah. of Pete's pedal board? I kind of a picture of Pete's pedal board. <laughs> uh, I just kind of feel it's like in all the years I've, we've been playing guitar together, I kind of feel the last few it's weeks a little bit of this. Here. Yeah, it's that. It's There's something it's in magic. This, in this, these it's three magic here. Magic coming There's on. Something there. going on. Cali this is, 76 this is, into a Dane into a protein. Sounds like a sort of a morning um, fitness regime. <laughs> there, but. There's it, yeah. <laughs> Said it never. The PRS was like a, it took me a while to get it right. You didn't connect in the beginning. I didn't connect guitar, did you? No, I didn't connect with it. And then when I first started, when I got the poles, because I started getting into the mm. way that the pickups work and how the how you can get this from the from the split and and using the you know the the not just going everything on full and then you know like you do with the mm. telecast and you just you know but. <laughs> Yeah, 
And so Paul's got it's, something where and you need when you understand when you get it, you get it, you know. And whether you like the guitars are pretty, you know, I feel well, I, I think that was a barrier for you. Was kind of like that whole kind of like you know, they're they are guitars that you know, I I think a lot you know, how do you sort of say this without it, it appeals to a certain type of guitar player that wants to hang guitars up and look at them on the wall and go, look how pretty all my guitars yeah, yeah. are. And I think other guitar players, that has almost like the opposite effect, just like going, that's not really what I really want. So you kind of, you know, you lean towards a battered Telecaster or that kind of thing for a vibe. Yeah. And then I just remember when you got your Paul's guitar, and I think you'd used it for some studio work or something like that, yeah, yeah. and you just went, Maybe we took it to the we, we took did the to, thing we, at to Angelic Studios. Didn't exactly. We? Yeah, and, we did and it the, was like I think you just came back and went, mm, I've got a new found appreciation of what this instrument is as yeah. a tool now, as as well as being very yeah. pretty to look and at. And I, I think also I was you get kind of scared of them. And I think in the beginning when we start, we have we're mm. lucky here to play a lot of beautiful guitars and pretty guitars. But you do get kind of scared with with guitars like this. You go, oh, I'm, I oh, we'll have to be careful. I'm scratch it, and I don't want to play too hard because maybe I scratch the fret or. Maybe I do this, you know, and you just you. When if you have that in the back of your head, I don't think you ever appreciate what the it's instrument all, can do. I, I, I always remember. But it takes time, man. Yeah. It's taken me five years to get to because I did, never had a PRS yeah. before. I, I always known that you know in in the shop, and you periodically get a bit of damage to the stock, and you have to do a deal. It's like if you get a Strat or a Les Paul that gets damaged, you knock a few quid off, and the customer's like, "That's fine." Like yeah, because I'm gonna. If you if you damage a PRS, it's almost just like, "Well, that's it, isn't it?" No one's ever gonna want that. Now. Yeah, and that's and, <laughs> and, I, and like, I understand, I understand bit, that. Yeah, it is a bit mad. And it's, it is weird because I have taken my Paul up to do gigs, you know, before the lockdown and stuff. And when you play it, you're like, "Oh, this is amazing! It sounds really good." And then you then you when you look down on yourself, you go, "It it just it's not it just for me." I know it's probably just me, but it I, I I'm I'm a little bit scared of it, mm. you know. I'm well, just banging it around and, you and see, maybe hitting the drummer's cymbals yeah. and stuff. So, you know, you know some, sometimes it's not like I kind of feel off. like when, when you see someone that's just decided to buy a black PRS with the white binding, and they and you almost just go, yeah. "Fair play, man," because you obviously just you've just gone, you've just bought it for the guitar, you don't really care. Yeah. Anyway, look, but the tones you can get out of this is insane. I'm going to ask you, Mr. Pete, now, uh, and obviously this won't make a lot of sense unless you've watched the video before where we did the studio, because uh, oh, they're not a dissimilar price, are they? Um, no, nope, they're not. They're both these are about four grand if you want the non ten top, and then it's about forty seven hundred yeah. if you want to start going ten top territory. So they're similar kind of dough to a studio. Yeah. If I couldn't uh, pick, both if you had in. to pick one, uh, <laughs> and of course this is entirely subjective. Yeah. Do you go the I... solid body HSS or do you go the semi hollow HSH? I mean, if I could, I would get both because they're very different. <laughs> they, they play both really lovely, but I think the tones that I could get out of the other one was was. Get more tones out of this, um, but the other with the two narrow fields just has something different that that I don't have mm. any other guitar that does that, you know. So I think I'll probably go for that in that color but though. Probably in this color. This is color's great. Yeah, it's not over the, That's going to be popular. I yeah, bet. I, I bet. think I think so with the yeah. gold uh, with all the gold on it. But I mean, there's something with the semi hollow as well. But then I don't. But then I don't like it on. Not that I don't like it, but I prefer the other one with this with the with the full fat. Body yeah, I, don't, I, I must admit, I don't know what the, not what the point of the semi-hollow is, but I suspect that it's more about uh, a weight reduction and a visual of the F-hole than it is necessarily are, about making the, the guitar I sound think the, maybe the clean really tones, different. Maybe the clean tones um, uh, might be. Thing. That's the tone you can you always can find on these two. When you just use the ball, the little apple of your is that called the apple? That's um, that's a who's the best tone. guitar player that only uses their fingers and doesn't use a plectrum? Oh, I th I the think. Best. Well, so who's your favorite yeah. tone? 
Yes, yeah, it's, it's a combination thing. I like people com combining it a bit, but you know, Jared is one that yeah. that really does Mark it. Uh, Mike Knopfler. Uh -huh. Andy, Andy has got a great tone. He has a great tone. He's got a great tone. He just uses his fingers, you know. He's, uh, actually, he's a bionic um, thumb, isn't he, Andy? It's just um, like uh, Jeff Beck. Richie Cotson, man. Does he not use plectrum? No, he stopped using plectrums. He did, it, yeah. And you go, what? Even those um, super quick things. Yeah. And I, I, I've, I'm leaning towards the, if you notice, I play a lot with my fingers at the moment because there's much more. Chris Buck. I know he's a, he uses pick and his Yeah, fingers, but, that's, but the, that's doing that. Even John Mayer does that, you know, I don't mean to keep going on about that all the time. That's that oh, it's a good guitar. sounding guitar. Yeah. Anyway, man, oh, we I could do this all day. Long. Uh, I know. <laughs> well, well done for uh, keeping up with the, 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 the volume of videos that are going out uh, this weekend on PRS. Hopefully, uh, Pete and I are going home now, so in the next video, we'll be in different clothes. Um, <laughs> I did. I did change. Did you notice? Did you? I, yeah, because because I had a zipper on, and I thought I don't want to put the. It's still in the back of my head with these guitars. Maybe, maybe by the so time we do the next lot of videos, the new Andertons merch will have arrived in stock, and Oof, we'll have all the new that's colors be of popping, sky man. blues it's and pinks be popping. and all other kind of colors. Yeah. Um, and this one will yes, come out in a relic. I've, I've already talked before. We've <laughs> still got the Letteri to go, or the Fiore, as they call it. You know, yeah. his signature model and uh, hopefully one or two others as well. So yes. anyway, anyway, stay with us. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you loads.